It's a new year, so how about making some new career goals? As women become more and more prevalent in the workplace and more of them are becoming bosses, how do we effectively negotiate with men? Anna Runyon, the author of The Professional Women's Guide to Managing Men, is joining us this morning to share with us some secrets, and we're going to explain some mistakes of what we should not be doing. So thank you exactly. so much for coming. Yeah, you're welcome. I'm excited to be here. Let's first talk about what not to do. I exactly. think this is something that, that a lot of people can relate with. So some of the biggest mistakes that women make at work is perfectionism. Yeah, so one of the things that women do a lot of is they work really, really hard, but they don't promote themselves. So they're not telling their bosses how, how well that they're doing. And perfectionism is huge because we really try as women to try and be really perfect. Um, we apologize too much. That's kind of another mistake that we make as well. So that might be carried over like from your personal life and then bringing that to the workplace is not really something that we should it be doing. It causes a lot of stress. And as, as women, especially working mothers, we don't want that stress on us. Okay, another mistake we may be making, waiting to be invited to lead and not speaking up in meetings. Exactly. You have to go out there. You have to share your ideas. Don't be afraid of making mistakes. Women often are more worried about making mistakes than men, but you really have to go out there and not be scared. Okay, and then working really hard but not promoting yourself. Yes. Um, oftentimes men are a lot better at this, at yeah. promoting themselves than women are. Yeah, no one knows how hard you're working. So if you're sitting in a corner, you're working all day by yourself mm -hmm. on, in your computer, if you're not out there in the hallway telling people, go around to cubicles, tell them what you're doing, forward them emails, um, tell them the great work that you're doing. And this is another one, apologizing too much. Mm -hmm. I know that this may be another one that carries over from your personal life. You know, women yeah. juggle a lot, being wives and mothers and what have you, and if you apologize uh, in the workplace, that could be detrimental to your career. I hear this so many times. And you apologize for things you don't really need to apologize for. It's like the little stuff that you could have gotten around without saying I'm sorry for something. What about negotiating with men? and the work and tips that you can give. Exactly. So women, they think of negotiating as a chore, like unpleasant chore, but men think of it as a challenge and a competition. So you want to change your mindset, first of all, and then don't worry about pleasing everyone. Women like to please everyone involved, and that's mm -hmm. something that you really can't think about. Um, you want to establish your credibility first up front as quickly as possible. And make it as as um, short and concise as possible. You don't want to give a lot of detail. Uh, you want to come to an agreement as quickly as possible when you're negotiating with a man. No small talk, which is something that women tend to do. Exactly, yeah. Women are very relationship building. We like to talk and build relationships, but when you're negotiating with a man, you want to be short and concise. Get more down to business. All right, exactly. So that's, that kind of transitions into how we can communicate more effectively with men at work. And, and does that kind of, are we supposed to downplay the, the small talk? Exactly. Yeah, you okay. want to get to the point right away. So think big picture. You don't need to give him all the details. Mm -hmm. um, big picture, keep the stories to the minimum. And also for women, their voices are, are quieter than men. So mm -hmm. if you're speaking to a lot of men, you want to project your voice, talk louder than you might think is normal. Command the attention. Yes. All right, mm -hmm. then building confidence and assertiveness at work, this is probably something that, that a lot of us need to work on. How would you suggest we do that? You want to fake it till you make it. Yeah. So even if you're I'm not... I'm a huge leader <laughs> in that. <laughs> yeah, right? So yeah. even if you're not feeling confident, you really want to act self-confident and go out there. Um, like I said, try and get over the mistakes as quickly as possible. Make it a goal to speak speak up in every meeting that you attend. I think a lot of women more so than men worry about people liking them at work exactly. and being well liked and, and when it and comes not to getting ahead, gonna like you. yeah, not mm -hmm. everyone's going to like you first of all, we all know that, yeah. but when it comes to getting ahead, that, that shouldn't really matter, right? Yeah, think of it as respect. You want to get respect um, instead of maybe not everyone will like you, but at least everyone will respect you. I love it. Okay, so the book is called The Professional Women's Guide to Managing Men. Exactly. Thank you so much for coming today. I think this You're is welcome. something that a lot of people can relate to and of course more more and more women are becoming bosses out there, so yes, they're having yay. to manage men. Yes. And um, this is a great topic, so thanks for coming. Thank you.